Okay, uh, what we have to do is we have to add two radicals. Now, when trying to add two radicals, uh, when we have a negative radical and a positive radical, it's just like any other term. They have to be the exact same. Just like when I had to do, you know, x plus, uh, you know, x plus x equals 2x, that was only true and since these were the same. x plus x squared was x plus x squared. Those are not the same. Um, those are not the same terms. Even though they still deal with x's, this is to the first degree, that's to the second degree. So they're going to be different numbers. Um, so we can't combine them. Well, radicals are the same thing. I know I'm taking the radical of both these numbers, but this is the radical of 12, this is the root of 12, and this is the root of 75. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can simplify each one of these, and then if we get to them to be the like radicals, meaning the same number under the same square root, then I can combine them. So I'm going to use the factoring technique to, uh, or you know, the factoring tree technique to simplify these. So I'm going to kind of ignore this negative sign here because that's really outside of my function. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down into twos. Okay. Then I break this down into um, three times two, and now I can't factor it anymore. Now the one important thing you guys need to do when you're factoring this, remember, this is still all over a square root. Okay. So here's my final answer. I have 3 times 2 times 2. So really what I have is 3 times the square root of 2 times 2. And what that equals is that equals 12, right? Hello, you can come in. Um, so what I have is since 2 times 2 is 4 and the square root of 4 is 2, what we say is we like to pair these up and then take them out of the square root. So therefore, 2 times 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So I can write 2 square root of 3. All right? So I have 2 square root of 3. And then over here, actually, it's a negative 2 square root of 3. All right, now here, if you notice, I can't divide by 2 for this problem, can I? So then I look to the next problem. How about 3? And you say, yeah, I can do 3. You can do 3 and 25. And 25 can be broken down into 5 times 5. So then, what I say is, since I can group these two together, you always want to group in pairs, okay? You notice I group these two because it's a pair of twos. Here's a pair of fives. Now, I can pull these out of my square root because 5 times 5 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So I can rewrite this as 5, yeah, five square root of 3. So what I have now is negative 2 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3. And what you notice is now this is like the same term. These are like my two x's. They're exactly the same. The square root of 3 and the square root of 3. So what I can do is I can combine my coefficients of these two terms. So negative 2 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3 is going to equal 3 square root of 3.